you don't like Ava or Sierra anymore. That is Flex in my play button back there. Um, also, that's for my vlog channel. YouTube has never sent me the one for my main channel. I should have one for a million subscribers, but I never got it, so let's uh, figure that out, YouTube. I um, went on Instagram and I asked you guys to send me some of your assumptions about me. I know I'm a little late on this video trend. I'm filming this no make fun just because uh, this is how I usually look. Like, I usually do not have a full face of make fun, so we're gonna go with that. Okay, so, um, here we go, here we go, here we go. You regret not having a normal life and going to college. Um, when I first graduated high school, I actually did, I didn't regret not going to college, but I was sad that I wasn't, I felt like I was like gonna miss out or I just was like, I had fear of missing out. I had fear of not doing what everyone was doing and taking a trap, take, bleh, bleh, bleh. taking, I had fear of taking a path that wasn't very traveled like I was really doing something that was kind of like not frowned upon but just kind of everyone thought it was weird what I was doing and they're like you're not going to school like what are you doing um so that's I really had like an insecurity about that I didn't really regret it I just was kind of insecure that I wasn't doing what everyone was doing but at the end of the day I decided to do what I thought was the best choice for me and I don't think you should do what everyone's doing just because everyone's doing it. Like if someone tells you to freaking jump off a cliff, are you gonna jump off a cliff? No. That you are very independent and live a healthy, perfect lifestyle. Um, the first part is true. I'm definitely very independent. I've lived on my own for almost four years. Um, but I am getting roommates, which I'm very excited about, and you guys will meet them soon. But I definitely don't have a perfect lifestyle. Um, there's no such thing as perfect like a perfect lifestyle perfect body perfect anything like no one can ever reach a level of perfection that you've had ups and downs in your life that is true um i think for a long time i made it look and i think a lot of youtubers can kind of back me up on this um like there was a time on youtube when i think everyone just tried to make their lives look so perfect and and it just kind of came across that way i think to people that were watching and it's so important that we have like shown that we are just normal people and we go through the same struggles that everyone else goes through. For me, inspiring people is showing them love and kindness and showing them that they can always overcome their struggles. When you are your authentic self, you help other people be their authentic self. So for me to come out about my eating disorder and talk about it, I think it's helping a lot of people in different ways and I think just being who I am is inspiring in itself. So. Yay. You love pineapple on pizza. Oh no. Nope, that's not correct. I love pineapple and pizza, but not them together. That's uh, tragic. Recovery hasn't been as easy as it seems online for you. Uh, yeah, that's very true. Um, I think it has looked like I got a comment on my babe squat Instagram that was like, it seems that you've recovered so fast and like, something something like it's been so easy but it really it it hasn't like it has not been fast and it definitely hasn't been easy i've been recovering for a year and a half i think um and it's it's definitely not been all rainbows and butterflies i have i have bad days i have days where my demons want to come out and i sometimes let them get the better of me and i've learned that i can't beat myself up over it um, and that each day is a brand new freaking day I have every single day to start over. When I really started recovering is when I finally just let go of all the control I was holding on to um, and I really just, I was like, you know what, God, like I'm going to just give it all over to you. I want to give you all my baggage so I started unpacking my bags one by one at his doorstep and I was like it's all in your control now there have been people in your life that have taken advantage of your warm and kind nature sadly um that is true those types of things do really hurt I will say that but in the long run I think it has helped me grow as an individual and I've learned so much from it that I can only be grateful for those types of experiences and even those people like I don't wish anyone I only want happiness for people I only want to see people prosper in their life and thrive and all I really can do is pray for those people um, pray for your enemies is is literally like my motto you 
I know it sounds like crazy. Like, oh, why would you pray for someone that, that did you dirty? But like, that's how you find like peace in your life is to forgive and let go and just trust that and hope really that those people like find love in their heart and that they kind of turn around their heart from darkness to light. So that was freaking deep. <laughs> that you are significantly the most content in your life that you have ever been before. That is true, I do feel very content. Like it's, it's a good freaking feeling. <laughs> you low-key look down on people who aren't religious? No. I treat everyone with the same respect and love. If you believe in God, if you don't believe in God, it doesn't matter to me. I love anyone that shows love and kindness to other people. If you're a good person, I love you. I don't treat you any differently. Um, yeah. You feel like your friends are fake. I have people in my life right now that are very supportive and loving and kind and uplifting people that only wanna see each other grow and be their best selves. And that's really all I could ask for in a friend. So I'm at a great place right now. You are feeling lonely sometimes. You know, I, you, I used to feel lonely. I really don't feel that lonely anymore. Um, I, as I said, I have a really great group of people around me and I feel very supported um, and not alone. And I, I think I only feel lonely if I'm like home alone and I like wish there was someone here to watch a movie with me, but like that's, that's really it. I never, like every day I feel like excited about the day and excited to talk to my wife, Tila. You are super dedicated and devoted to the things you're passionate about. That is true. I am so, dedica dedication is one of my best traits, I think. I, once I like get started with something, I'm so dedicated and focused on it. So, yay me. You were actually glad you didn't go to Coachella this year. Uh, yes, I'm very glad I didn't go actually for multiple reasons that I will not disclose, but Stagecoach was lit, it was a good time. You don't eat any junk food. That is not true. I am a junk food fiend. This girl loves her goldfish. I love, I love an occasional Oreo. I actually really like the golden ones. Sour candy, oh my god, don't even get me started. What other junk food? I love me some Chick-fil-A, man. You still struggle with body image issues. You know, I, this is what I want to say about that. Not every day is going to be perfect. You're not gonna look in the mirror every day and be like, oh, I love every single part of me. Like, that's crazy. Most people, and if you are like that, then wow, props to you. Like, that's freaking awesome. I aspire that to be like that. What I've learned is it's better to just be like, okay, I'm okay with the fact that I don't like this part of me and I'm just gonna move on. I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna beat myself up over the fact that I don't like something. Like, if you just sit there and you're like, oh, I wish I did like all the parts of me learning to just be okay with the fact that like there's some things you're insecure about is really like it's helped me so so much whoa i just like it's not about what what i look like like it's not about my body or my face like it's literally about what's going on inside of me like am i treating people with respect and kindness like am i showing that kind of love to people the way i want to be loved like that's really what matters your scars turned into strength amen that is the truth right there you've never smoked I've never smoked a cigarette. Uh, I did like this vape thing, which I never did again because it was really gross and I coughed it all up. You get hit on a lot when you're out. Um, you know, the other, when I went to the Ariana Grande concert, this man who was way older than me came up to me and like asked me if I had tickets and he was like, do you want to come to the suite? We have a suite, like, do you want to come? He was like basically asking me to come with him as his date and I was like, first of all, I don't know you. Second of all, I have a suite too, I'm going with my friend and we have a suite, so like, but it was, it kind of creeped me out and I was like, I don't really get hit on a lot, but it happened and I was shook. You care way too much about what people think about you. No, I really don't. I used to care way too much, but that ship has sailed. That ship has sailed. You don't like Ava or Sierra anymore. That is far from the truth. Um, first of all, I don't have resentment or hate towards anyone. Um, I, I think Sierra is such a kind and gentle soul. She is so sweet. She loves to see peace and she does not like to see conflict. She likes to resolve things. She's um, just a very gentle spirit and I love Sierra. And as far as Ava goes, I hope she's out there thriving. I wish her all the best and I only want to see people have their hearts filled with love and happiness and success. So 
I wish her all the best. You and Tila are wives again. Oh yes, honey. We never filed for divorce. We just had a little separation, but we, we worked things out. Still married, still have that ring on. Growing up on YouTube affected your mental health at a young age. Um, this I would say is true. I have, str I struggled with depression in like 2015. Um, and I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that I was, my whole entire like childhood was really online. I really didn't have a lot of in-person friends or contact and social things going on. I felt really isolated and alone and I didn't feel like I really had, I didn't feel like I fit in anywhere. And I didn't really have anyone to talk to besides my mom and dad actually. And it really kind of just got worse until I finally did make friends and then I went through just a bunch of stuff with that. I like definitely strayed away from God and my relationship with him um, was really just non-existent um, even though I grew up going to Christian school and I had a relationship with God and then I just kind of drifted apart from that and then I really did have like this realization and awakening where I knew I wanted to change how I was living and I think I was searching for something and I realize now that I was searching for a relationship with Jesus and I wanted to be close to him and I really was working on that and it really kind of took me a few years to figure out that that's really what I was searching for. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new about me. If you want more videos like this where I literally just have no makeup on and we're chill AF, give this video a thumbs up. I love you Mayberry so much and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Stay you and stay freaking true. Don't forget to honey. Oh.